Hi guys, welcome back to High Electronic with me, Joel. Today we have a very special video because we have a guest. This guest is from China, more specifically from the Leontronic Corporation, and they want to share a bit about their experience here in Indonesia and also about the products that they offer and the things that they sell. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, hello, so may I know your name? Uh, my name is Lydia, I'm from uh, China and uh, my company name is Shenzhen Electronics. So, how does it feel like to be here in Indonesia? Uh, the uh, first impression is so hot. <laughs> yeah, it's so hot compared with uh, the city that I'm staying in Shenzhen right now. It's like 20 degrees here, it's like up to 32 or 35. So the first impression is so hot. But the thing is, the food there is very good. The food here, you mean? Yeah, the food here is very good. We have tried the uh, the, the rendon and also the uh, the sing singko. It's very good, actually. Is it cold here there in Shenzhen compared to here in Indonesia? No, actually, uh, in Shenzhen it's very comfortable. You know, uh, we usually we have like uh, twenty to uh, twenty eight, sometimes like thirty two degrees. Okay, so I want to ask a few questions about the food, okay. especially the food here. Okay. Because after living here for a while, okay, I think it has one of the most unique food combinations in the world, right? Yep. And especially about rendang. Uh -huh. What do you like specifically about rendang? This is the first time uh, to try the food locally, and uh, you know the the most favorite part is the sauce of the the rendang. You know, uh, when I was a child, actually in my hometown. You know, uh, co coincidentally, I have that sauce in my hometown. So that's the reason, you know, I love that most. Have you ever tried Indonesian fried rice? Have I you have. Indonesian called nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know, in, in China, we, uh, we, we used to take that fried rice, but uh, here I haven't. Uh, I'm looking forward to take the time to try that. Okay. Yeah. But I tried the, the, uh, the fried noodles. Fried noodles. Yeah, the fried noodles. Fried noodles is, is good actually. Yeah, fried noodles. But I like the, the French fries in Indonesia, the homemade the French fries. The, yeah. the, the singkong? The singkong. Yeah, the singkong. It's very nice. You know, when you, uh, this is a very good food. When you have, the, you're watching the movies and you're reading the book, sometimes you can just like, uh, you know, cannot stop <laughs> when you start it. Yeah. Did you, did you know, actually, Jakarta is one of the most crowded cities ever in, in Southeast Asia. And I noticed that. We can see it from the traffic. Yeah. What do you think about the traffic? Well, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you know, last night we have, uh, we have spent two hours in the car. It's not moving. It's not moving. So, you know, we, uh, we, we suffer like the traffic jam in China too, like uh, in the city that I'm staying in Shenzhen. It's like the top three thirty city in 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 China. We used to you know have the the peak hour, like uh, when we go to office and when we go back to home. Sometimes we have like a peak hour. But compared with Jakarta, the traffic jam in Shenzhen is easy. Oh, do you think that because it's crowded and people stay on the road for like one hour, two yeah. hour? Do you think it's a very smart decision to put the video drone somewhere so that they can look at some advertisement? Well, this is a smart idea. Actually, on the roadside, we saw a lot of, like in, 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 the, in the Jakarta, actually, we saw uh, several like media advertising companies. They already installed like their visual, uh, video drone on the roadside, so they have some like advertisement, the video clip. So it will be a good idea, you know, to uh, make some distraction, you know, and to make you stay in the, in the car, not that boring. I think this is a good idea, and also it's like a, in terms of like a commercial way, like a, this is also good investment. Oh, um, Indonesians are very popular. Yep. Are, are known for being very hospitable and yes. kind. Yes. Yes. What do you think about that? What do you think about the Indonesian people? From my point of view, I uh, I have a very good experience when I stay in Indonesia, in Jakarta. You know, the people there are very nice. They are very kind, and they are all hospitality. So uh, I think uh, one of the big reasons because I like uh, Asia countries, they share uh, in a uh, certain way, they share most of the culture the same, you know, so uh, it's very nice to be here, you know, you will feel like uh, safe, you will feel relaxed. 
Now I'm going to ask a few questions about the development of Videotron technology. Okay. So, what do you see from the technology of Videotrons in Indonesia? Well, uh, we see that because, uh, you know, the whole uh, the market capacity in Indonesia is huge. And in terms of also like the, uh, the GDP contribution and also like the larger population, we do believe that uh, there are a lot of like a, uh, how say, like a possibility and the potential in the Indonesian market in their uh, uh, video show. Now, I want to talk about the global world as a whole. What okay. do you see in the technology of Videotron globally? So it could be in Indonesia, in China, or anywhere around the world. Yeah, um, see, so uh, personally for myself, I was, uh, I'm, I'm leading the business in the LED in, uh, industry for like uh, 15 years already. So the uh, technology direction for the uh, Videotron will be like mostly uh, happen for like the indoor and the outdoor like uh, you know like digital out of home and also like for the uh, energy saving products and also like in uh, environment friendly products so that the, the reason that we develop like a, a wide range of product portfolio which covers for the DOH for outdoor advertising and also for the indoor like a fine pixel page to cover the control room, TV broadcasting studios, and also for the retail applications. And also as well as for the small related business. There is a type of Videotron for energy saving, you said? Yes, you know, uh, especially in Europe countries, right now like, uh, like uh, global warming and also energy, safe, energy prices is like the common topic more widely so uh, right now we develop like high brightness products and also but it's lower uh, power consumption we call it like energy saving and uh, environment friendly products to meet the demands and you know in the channel of the the world that's why maybe leontronic has a wide variety of different products is that right yes uh it's true actually you know uh, because uh, uh different countries they have a different like uh, specific demands as Electronics, we are the first company to go to went into the public listed in, in China and we have uh, already accumulated like more than 20 years of the uh, design and the manufacturing of LED display products. I think the quality is always the, the, the lifelong topic. So that's the main principle we, when we uh, design the products and to offer the, uh, the, the products into the market. Now, I want to ask you another question, yep. but it's a bit personal, right? Yep. Please tell me your most favorite moment or one of the most unique moments you had while working. I, ha I have uh, working in the Chinese more than 15, uh, so, uh, sorry, like 10 years already. 10 years, this year is 10 years. But the thing is, the reason why I stay in Nantroni more than 10 years because I love that country, I love that company because, you know, uh, uh, we, can, we can be ourselves in the company. So those are all the questions. I'm so happy we got the time to answer all of them. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. Hi guys, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe, like, and don't forget to comment on our videos. And I'll see you next time. And also, ciao. Saya perkenal dengan Asti. Ya, saya dengan Silka. Bu, hmm, sebelumnya selamat Jumat Agung ini. Iya, terima kasih selamat Jumat Agung juga. Ibu, saya mau nanya mm -mm. tentang videotron yang ada di gereja ini. Oh. Bagaimana menurut Ibu? Luar biasa puji Tuhan gereja kita bisa akhirnya sekarang diberkati dengan uh, menikmati fasilitas videotron yang memang uh, kita lihat berbeda dengan yang sebelumnya okay. juga dengan Tunggu. secara kualitas juga ter, uh, tentu beda gitu ya kita bisa lihat uh, lebih jelas sekarang kalau dulu mungkin uh, setelah usia yang cukup lama mm -hmm. gereja kita menggunakan teknologi yang sebelumnya mm -hmm. sekarang dengan ada yang baru kita jemaat sudah banyak juga yang uh, memberikan komentar ke lewat Bentar. saya bahwa wah luar biasa sekarang jadi semakin semangat lebih lagi semangat beribadah beri. karena jadi sekarang lebih clear juga ngelihatnya dan lebih mungkin aktif gitu ya, lebih ya? aktif otomatis juga interaksi dengan jemaat juga ya. terasa apalagi ekspresi Bapak Gembala dan para pelayan-pelayan di depan betul. juga lebih terlihat, terlihat ya? jelas iya, iya. betul oke okay. jadi saya sekarang lagi sama siapa namanya Jetro Jetro oke okay. Yeah, so, jadi kita uh, have some questions ya, kita yeah. mau tanya. Jadi pertama, 
apa yang dirasakan kamu kalau ibadah tapi ada screen segede ini? Kalau screen segede ini aku pikir orang-orangnya lebih gampang buat baca liriknya gitu kalau lagi nyanyi. Jadi lebih gampang juga kalau orang yang duduk belakang dia jadi lebih gampang soal kan ada banyak yang punya minus atau apa. I disability gitu loh. Hmm. Emang dulu waktu pakai projector itu susah ya baca? Oh, oh, dia kayak agak kecil gitu. Selamat siang Pak. Selamat siang, Shalom. Dengan siapa Bu saya berbicara? Saya dengan Michael Lontaan. Bagaimana experience-nya mengenakan Videotron Pak hmm. di gereja ini? Saya pribadi sangat rasa bersyukur dengan adanya Videotron ini. Yep. Tentunya apabila kita um, bandingkan dengan um, teknologi yang lama, yang dimana itu masih menggunakan um, apa nih? Um, layar oh, um, proyektor, okay. um, tentunya ada sangat signifikan perbedaan kualitasnya ya, okay. di mana kita juga bisa lebih jelas melihat akan tampilan yang ada di Videotron gitu. Kalau yang tampilan yang lama proyektor tentunya agak buram gitu. Ya pasti kalau secara mungkin men, apa secara lebih ini melihat di hal itulah. 